Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. And I've been shopping. I've been to Heron Foods and Iceland. Come and have a look where I got. I was having a little walk around Heron Foods, as you do, and I came across this. A chicken vindaloo. I've not seen this before. So I thought I'd try it. It's 350 grams and it's a four chilli rating, extra hot. Spicy hot curry, look at that. So I went to Iceland and I bought this. Now I've had this before, but I thought I'd do a comparison. Because there's a difference in price. I'll get to that in a second. Um, Takeaway chicken vindaloo and it's got a five chilli rating. It's 375 grams, so you get 25 grams more. So there is a difference in price. The chicken vindaloo from Heron was two quid. Two pound. I thought two quid's not bad, is it, for a chicken vindaloo? And the one in Iceland is three pounds. So there's a, a pound difference, if my maths are correct. So let's have a look at the boxes. They're both frozen. Um, it says there, look, microwave from frozen in eight minutes. We will have a look. A little GB sticker there, look. Uh, there is the nutritional information if you want to have a look at that in a bit more detail. Then pause it and go ahead. Um, there is the uh, ingredients, look. It's uh, cooked chicken breast pieces in a hot curry sauce with onion. Um, there are the ingredients there, look. You've got cooked chicken 20% and then it's got chicken breast. And them ingredients don't look too bad, do they? They, they really don't look too bad. There's no real nasty ones in there at all. So that's a great, great thing, isn't it? Although every effort has been made to remove all bones, some may remain. And there are the cooking instructions. Like I say, 800 watts, you can microwave it. Um, five minutes, peel film lid, stir and recover, cook for another three minutes. And then they'll let it stand before serving. Or you can do it in the oven, look. 200 degrees, fan 180, gas six. 25 minutes, peel it back, give it a stir, and then another 15 minutes. So considerably longer in the oven. So let's have a look at the Iceland. They are the ingredients there, look. The allergens are barley and mustard. Them ingredients look pretty good as well. I know there's more, but they still doesn't, they don't look like any nasties in there. Um, chicken breast pieces, 28%. So we're getting 8% more chicken. But it's 25 grams more. Chicken breast, 99%. 375 grams, a little bit of spiel there. Cooked chicken breast pieces in a hot curry sauce. There is the nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead with that one. 392 calories. How many in that one? I don't think I did say, did I? 400 and... 28 calories. Some more calories. Right, let's get these open and see what we have got. So I am going to be um, having a treat here. 725 grams of pure bliss heat. <laughs> I have had this before, the Iceland one, and it is really good. It's so tasty. It really is. It's not massively... Anyway, let's, let's have a look at it. Before I start going on, um, there it is. Look, it's frozen. It's in there in the container. These are really good for microwaving. These containers, and there is the um, the one from Heron Foods. That's in there. That's frozen. Look. Right, you have to pierce the lid several times and then microwave them. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm just looking for the origin of meat here. Um, I did see a GB sticker on there, as I pointed out before. And there's a code there as well, look, MN104. It says here, uh, Authentic Food Company, Manchester, produced in the UK. So, that's always good, isn't it? So, let's have a look at the origin of chicken for the Iceland one. It says, packed for Iceland foods. There, look, Dublin. Let's have a look, see if it says... I will have a look, look, little look now and I'll save you that. Having a further investigation, I am struggling to find out where the origin of the chicken is from. 
However, if you ask, would imagine if you went to iceland.co.uk, you could do some further investigations there. It just basically says packed for Iceland foods there in in Dublin. That is that. Hmm. Nothing else on it, I'm afraid. Right, I'll bring you back in a second or two. It's hard to five minutes. Now it's the seal peel test. Uh, and I just did notice while I was doing it in the microwave that this end has already decided to sort of come, come off. So let's do the seal peel test because I've got to give it a stir now. And yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That's giving me joy. And it is still still frozen. Oh, and it smells really good. There's red onion there. I can, I can see them there. Oh, it's smelling so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you need on a cold day. It's minus three out there. So this will, call, this will warm the cockles of my heart. Right, it's going to go back in now for another three minutes. The Heron Foods one is done. Now I did get a bit of a leakage, I'll be honest. It, it was spewing out the end here. So just be careful of that. I, it was only a little bit, but um, that has come off there. That, look at that, I am going to sleep tonight now. That, knowing that that has come off there in one. Um, so I'm going to show you the curry now. It's had eight minutes. I'll bring you down, just give it a stir. Show you lovely people, the curry. Um, look at that. And there's there's the onion. Hope you like onion. Yeah, the chicken looks good as well, doesn't it? Look at the chicken bits. Oh, it's smelling really good. So, yeah, it's it's pretty loose as well. But it's not really runny. It's just sort of... It's the kind of consistency I like. Because, you know, you've got a bit of runniness. Uh, but not too runny. Two pound, remember? Two pound! And over rice and chips, oh, you can't go wrong. The Iceland one has had five minutes now. We need to do the seal peel test to see if this comes off okay. I did pierce it several times. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, that is bliss. Um, this one's frozen as well, remember. There's big, big chicken bits in this one, you can see. Yeah. 25 grams more, but it is three pound. It's a pound more than the, you know, than the Heron Foods one. Oh, it's smelling good. It's smelling good. I'll show you lovely people that's down here. You've you've probably seen this before. I did it and I did it a while ago now. There's some chili, look. Right. Oh, it's smelling good. Oh. Right. I'm gonna get it in the back in the microwave for another three minutes. They're both done. We have done the seal peel test and I, I am picking up with the Iceland one a different smell. A different smell and it's it's like aniseeds and um, uh, a cloves with this one, with the Iceland one. So bear that in mind. Now, we'll have a look. We'll get you down and we'll have a look. It's, it's done. There's a slick on there of, of goodness. Look at that oil slick of goodness. Yeah, that's what I'm, it's, it's quite strong actually, that smell. Um, I am picking that up, I'm detecting that. Uh, there's your, your chilli as well, look like in your other one. And there's your chicken. The chicken bits are quite big, the pieces of breast. Look at that. But it is runny. I have noticed it's quite runny. Um, it's, a, it's more runny than the heron one. Yeah, that's, that's a real nice smell, that one. It hasn't got as much. I prefer the smell of this one, I'll be honest. This one, it's them. Just having a further investigation, I did notice the heron one is slightly lower, but a little bit did spill out. But not, not a lot, but it's slightly lower than the Iceland one. But it's, it's, it's you know, it's like that, isn't it? Right, I'm going to get into this Iceland one. Um, sorry, the heron heron foods one. I'll get I'll get some chicken and a bit of juice, a bit of sauce. Have a look at that. This is this is two pounds. So I'll just I'll just send you 
to the back of the class. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It does help. Let me know. I mean, I've, I have done a chicken fall and chicken nugget and a chicken vindaloo. I did them on my lives streams beginning of this year, I think it was, or it might have been end of last year. And I got it from an Indian takeaway a restaurant, sorry. So it was it was good as well. And I remember the fowl, what I didn't eat, I had for my breakfast. So let's try that. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, it's got a bit of heat, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of heat there. Look at that bit of chicken. Chicken's lovely and soft as well. Mmm. That is lovely. It's well seasoned, doesn't need no more salt. There is a fair bit of heat there. It's got a four on there, four chilli rating. Yeah. I like that, I do like it. It's it's drawing me, it's give it it's making me say, go on, have some more, I'm gonna get into some more now. Alright, it's oh, no, I'm dropping it. Mmm. Oh that is lovely. Oh, I'm liking that one, I really am. That is the heron, heron foods, two pound, two quid. Maybe milk is what I should be drinking, not water. <laughs> um, just have a look before I just um, gather my senses. I've spilt a bit there. I'm just going to clean that up. Well, try and gather my senses. <laughs> that is lovely. That is lovely. It's a bit sweet as well. But it's tasty. It really is tasty. I mean, there's a, there's the onion there. Look, you've got to like onion. Um, I've had two bits of chicken. There's another two. I mean, yeah, it's three bits. Just Five bits of chicken in there. But that is really tasty. I'm, I'm, yeah. Right, let's get into this one now. I can smell like cloves and star anise in this one. Jiggling it with two hands here. You're all over the shop. Oh, what a treat. What a treat. Obviously... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's quite hot, that one. Let's try this one. Totally different taste. Totally different taste, that chicken vindaloo, the Iceland one. It, and it's, it's it, I'm getting that through, it's quite strong. Um, the smell is what I'm, I'm, I'm getting as well. Um, it's got ground cloves in there. I'm getting that, that's coming through. And the cinnamon. And the star anise. That's quite a strong one, that. Um, it's tasty. Um, the chicken's nice and, and moist on them, on them both. It's quite loose, this one. It's quite watery. It's not as hot. That's got a five. The Iceland's got a five. The Heron's got a four. Swap them around because the Heron is, is, is hotter. And the Heron is the one I prefer. Definitely. Definitely prefer the heron one. And that is the one I would buy. This is heron. Look at that bit of chicken. Mm. Oh, I'm liking that. Two pound. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you bought two for four quid, you're getting 700 grams. Load of chips and rice. Ooh. Winner, winner. Chicken vindaloo dinner. <laughs> Yeah, that's the winner in my two quid. I think I've said that about ten times. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thanks for joining the membership. Going live next Friday for the Christmas party, eight o'clock. Please, uh, please join us. Say hello. I'm going to get into these two now. I ain't going to get wasted. I'm going to finish this chick, the um, heron one off because I like that one the best. And I'll put the other one in the fridge. 
So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.